Hey guys, you're playing as Near Earth Hub and we're testing out Grail and EH with the Navi Grid. This hand's, uh, it's got two ice, but don't like having these two attendants specifically. Let's throw it back, look for some money. We got the sweeps, that's what you want to see. So this hand is much better right now. We'll get our Sensi online, fire off the big sweeps. Cover HQ, seems good. So against Andy, easy mark. Interesting to see that already. Not a card you see too often outside of like the DLR builds that would go to zero on Fall Guy. Security testing is going to be happening this game. Ooh, this is a tough call actually. Do I bottom my CVS? Yeah, I think we do. I really want the rest of these cards. So we'll have to think about how we're going to get this temple to go. Are we going to try to rush this one out? I think we want to rush one out. Leave R&D totally open. Go with the two ice. So we could have Galahad. Merlin. The problem is that Merlin doesn't actually hurt him that much. Uh, he can probably take two net damage and just go right through again. So he can let Sensi go. If Sensi goes, we're so happy. This is like the best card to find your Grails early. Wow, he let me have Sensi. I think that's I think that's a hundred percent wrong. I think you never want to do that. Cool, so he's gonna have any non-icebreakers, or is this just a dead card against Andy? It would stop sucker. I don't think we care about that. I think I'll use the Enigma. And I will play the Jackson. Seems okay. Can pitch our grid. Keep the Beal for the follow-up. Not the sneak door. Well, what can he even do with sneak door besides take this beal? He doesn't have Desperado, so it's really not that threatening. I think I'll just let him do his thing. Kind of worried about uh, mid-season, I guess, because he's going to host that beal. Works for me. We are not at all a score or a, a kill deck. Do we? This hand is pretty great. I kind of think we just don't fire Sensi. No, let's fire Sensi. Just so we can bottom an agenda and make sure we almost make sure we don't draw one because we're going to discard at the end of our turn, right? So we're going to be able to score Astro. And probably this is too expensive for what it will do against a Link Runner. I like both money, but I also like having all these grails. I'm going to try trashing sweeps here. The pad is good with the temple. So we can cover R&D next turn. We can cover archives. Or we can probably just chain Astro, depending on what he does, right? It's not showing any breakers. Yeah, definitely kill the Sensi. Better right than never, I suppose. We got a ton of value out of it. We found so many Grails. Like, we're on six Grails out of nine already, right? So 
So Galahad is against Kuroder. Lancelot's against Mimic. It's probably pretty comparable. We might catch him. I don't know. He's avoided this HQ ice the entire game, so I'm not sure it's worth paying two more to get this out here. But having an ETR will make um, the Lancelot at least be able to ETR. This is a regular run, so he's going to be... Oh, no, it's security testing. Yeah, he's pretty far behind. Uh, let's see what we draw. Yeah, I think I just score 15 minutes here. Go to three points. Grails are generally pretty good against criminal because it you can if you wreck their program they often don't have another one. So I have to be really careful about approaching ice until they have like a full set of breakers out. I think he's seeing Grails in our hand too, so he knows that we're on it and that he really can't do face checks or he might lose on the spot. Got enough grails, we probably could put one on the archives. Doesn't stop testing though, so I'm not even sure if there's a value to it. Might be better off just covering the HQ with a more expensive ice to try to duck siphon when that comes in. So Mongoose is not actually very efficient against Lancelot. You're end up ending up paying four because you have to pump it, and that really kills the efficiency. So I will happily charge him here. Um, right, he can use the sucker to save himself two bucks. We do have CVS in deck. We might want to purge and then cover the archives with the other Lancelot. Or we could just stack Lancelot and then he's going to be forced to get another Mongoose or some fairies. Actually, stacking Sentry might be the best way to go. He's still lacking Desperado pretty tragically. Yeah, I guess I'll get five bucks. I prefer to play an APD, but we don't have the influence for it with all these grails in here. Cool. So I feel like our HQ is okay for this turn. Let's put the code gate on the archives, which he doesn't have currently. And we can stack. Sentry in R and D. Unfortunately, he can't stop Astro from just doing Astro things. So I think that will be his, his doom in the end. Not having any any say against fast advance. Might as well get value out of that before it dies. Oh, it's testing. I'm done. I wasn't going to save this to res some of our ice, but I guess we'll just have a DBS. Do we want to draw a card? We want to just pop Jackson. Um, I 
Actually, I could pop Jackson. Send some money back. And the Assassins, pretty decent. So what we've learned so far is that the grid is not very good. I don't think it's worth it in any card. I think if the Grails are good on their own, then you just play Grails and don't play the grid. The idea could have been to play with, like, you know, it's, it blocks SMC, so a Shaper can't just see what ice you have and then search for the Breaker. But there's kind of a limited window where it's going to do anything. It stops David, but we don't have any Davidable ice in our deck. Uh, I'll let him trash that if he wants to. Force only have one now, so he's only had to pay. Yeah, that's Mongoose. He is not going through here. Really? I guess he's just giving up. Yeah, he's just forfeiting. He's like, I'm too far behind. Which, to be fair, he has got no late game plan against Astros. So the Grills definitely did their job. They were cheap. Like this was a nice $2 remote ice that would have actually punished on phase track, which I quite like compared to wraparound, which just lets them bounce off, right? But the, yeah, the group with Unrolling, it's more of an anti-shaper card, I would say. And we didn't happen to face shaper. Blocking clone ships and all that. So we'll test a little more, but I don't have a ton of hope for it.